Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. I have a couple of friends stopping by this evening. Uh, their names are Patrick and Sandra, and I'm going to make the greatest hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> some Van der Drish wine. Oh my uh, gosh. Oh my god. I've always wanted to try wine. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yes. will be great. Oh, yes. Thank you there very you much. Well. <laughs> well, come on in my kitchen. Okay, okay I think everybody has their right, drinks. Yes. Yes. Uh, Patrick, are you okay? Yeah, I am, I okay. am. I Cheers. Am. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for inviting Hello. us. Sure. Okay, now what I'm going to make for this appetizer is Antipasto strips, that's what I call them. You know what antipasto is, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It goes back to ancient Romans, actually. Uh, before they would have their big banquets, you know, they would have antipasto, and it would often be uh, meats and uh, fish and cheese and tomatoes and olives and things like that. So they'd eat all these antipasto, and then didn't they throw up or something and then go, go back <laughs> no, and eat? Not. No, that's what they would do. They did. <laughs> they did, so they yeah. could eat more. Well, hopefully nobody will puke tonight. <laughs> anyway, this is this is my version of antipasto. Oh. Okay? We're going to start with one stick of softened butter in a bowl. And um, Sandra, you can you can sort of okay. dump dump the rest of the ingredients in. That's tomato paste, so we need some of that. Put it all in. About how much tomato paste is this? Um, that's about a tablespoon's worth. Then we'll add some oregano and about a teaspoon's worth. Is that good? Perfect. Yeah. And then we're going to add two more things. Uh, those are olives that I chopped up, black olives. Oh. All of them? Yeah, all of them. That's a couple of tablespoons worth. And then Genoa salami. I love Genoa salami. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's about a half a cup's <laughs> worth right there. So we put all that in. So we're basically, it's, it's the ingredients of antipasto, but I'm making sort of a, a butter out of it. Mm. We just blend everything really well together. And the word antipasto actually means uh, before the meal. Actually in Spanish is uh, grass, so before the grass. Before uh, the grass? Before right. the grass. Oh, well, good. Glad we're not in Spain right now. <laughs> All right, I've got, uh, this is a loaf of Italian mm. bread, mm. nice crusty Italian bread, and we're simply going to spread this um, antipasto mixture on the bread. So we'll take about half of it, put it on one, the other half on another. And by the way, this freezes really well. You can, you mean you can with this, the, 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 the topping? No, freezes? you can, you can put the bread together like this and before you bake it, if you want to freeze, if you only want to use half of it, uh, you know, I was going to only use half of it because, you know, there's just us. Uh -huh. But knowing Patrick, uh, he made I, other I'm going to make both of them. <laughs> Keep spreading it. Okay. I don't need it frozen. All right. So uh, we're going to put this in a hot oven, 450 degrees, mm. for 10 minutes. Then we're going to add some cheese on top and finish it off. So this goes over here for 10 minutes. There we go. Patrick, what are you going to do for the next 10 minutes? Well, help. pass me that ball. I need to clean something up. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the reasons I love hanging around you guys so much is you love food. 
I mean, you love to eat it and you love to cook it. Oh, so true. <laughs> and you, you make, I've had the more, most interesting meals at your house. You know, goat on a spit and, you know, <laughs> all kinds of wonderful things. Everything's been great. Well, except for that one, that one meal. I remember. Oh, the one, the fondue that we made for you. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to be dro dropping everything you put in the <laughs> fork and then let it cook forever. I mean, that's your fault. The fondue was great. <laughs> all right. Ten minutes. Oh, that looks oh they're nice and browned wow. and yeah. warm through. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to top them with mozzarella cheese. Can I help? Yes. And is it okay like this? Oh yeah, just lay them across there. Or do we have? Oh, we're going to put on all five slices that are here. That's like fine. This? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with too much cheese. Right. This is torture, preparing all this in front of us like that. Oh, oh just another minute, Petri. Yeah. We just stick this under the broiler until the cheese is all brown and bubbly. Just a couple of minutes. Look at well, that. And then we're just going to let it cool down just a little bit. Oh, come on, let's order a pizza. I can't wait that long. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just cut it into strips. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Put it on a tray and let's go enjoy it at the Bensley Bar. Yay! <laughs> finally! It's finally, Petri! That's wonderful. That's right, finally! Look at this piece, has my name. Sandra? Mm -hmm. I like the crunchiness of the bread. Great. You can taste the olives and the salami, it's wonderful. Mm. <laughs> mm. Isn't that good? Mm. Antipasto strips. I think it should be renamed to pro pasta strips. I'm not anti this at all. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Mm.